What's happening, everybody? I'm Grimaster. Welcome to the Kingdom of Wreck Business. Uh, I played this a while back. I played the demo of it, I think, back in November last year. Uh, Want to start a new game in Liverpool? Yes. So it's it's a game where we basically run a business of going out and finding wrecks, going out into the ocean, getting the wrecks, finding the like finding basically goods that we can sell, and uh, have dog with tips whenever you find yourself lost. I mean, I'll do the tutorial. It's been too long since I did anything. All right, so what do we got here? Got our office. Our lamp on and off. All right. All right, we're not allowed to leave. Turn the fan off. Oh, we can store stuff in there. Okay. So any, like, things we find we don't want to sell, I guess, just go in there. All right, well, let's go here. All right, so character creation panel. Oh, well, yes, I've seen these before. Let's go ahead and do that. No. August. I'm old. Down here. Boom. <laughs> All right. And then you can change like all different kinds of things. I don't think you actually see your own character. You do for there's like first person and stuff, but uh. All right, I'm down. <clears throat> actually, it's like perfect. That's exactly where I have my scar over my eyebrow. Uh, boo boo mouth. Oh wait, eyes. What kind of eyes are there? No, I want. Yeah, just chill. Just chill. Alright, what are we looking at? I don't know why, but I find that one humorous. Facial hair? Alright, cool. I'm down. Hair? Oh, there we go. That's perfect. Alright, and then I can change my clothes. I should change the color of our clothes. There's a lot. Oh, you know what? I like that one. Yeah, let's go with that one. All right. Old sea captain. Name or company. Uh, sunken backyard. All right. And then I guess that's good. I don't... No, I don't want a hat. What can I have a hat? I can have a monocle? All right. No, I'm already sold. We're having a monocle. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, I guess I'm good. Device allows for operation of your business. Click on the tabs and buttons on the new numerous functions available. Message box, auction house, much more. Don't worry, each panel contains separate... Okay. So, here you manage the messages. The messages tab contain information, important or less important. And reminders. The orders tab contains messages with the local location of the wrecks. Okay. Messages can be various types. Some simply welcome you to the game world. Others obtain ship me metrics. So you can embark on expeditions while whose details will be included in the message. All right. So the beginning of something extraordinary. Uh, waiting for the day so long, you finally decided to set up your business. I've made some calls, and I have your first good target. For a long time, I was ignored by more prominent players because the rewards seemed too small. But it looks like a good objective for you. It's an old German submarine, uh, the U-190. Carried out six war patrols and, it's most important, sunk two ships. I can't wait to see where you find them. All right. Show metric. Okay, I have to confirm. After taking an order or any significant action in the game, you will get a message that confirms <laughs> with confirmation or additional details. My brain just was like, did I hit record? Yes, I did. <laughs> Made that mistake once somewhere else today. Remember to check them regularly to catch up with anything you missed during your trips. Message can contain information about Rex. Notice about notice you up notice you about options you can choose from. Uh, did I just have a stroke? That's that seems that says that sounds so weird. I remind you about overdue payments. Notice you about. Inform you about. I don't know. It's weird. Panels are used for preparation. Preparing your expeditions. This is where you start the process of preparing an, for an expedition and exploring wrecks. In the first panel, you choose the expedition goal and ship. Okay. But I want to look at the other stuff. Oh, we have $3 million? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. This is a reward of 50000 Okay, these panels are used for preparing for your expedition. This is where you start the process of preparing for the expedition and exploring wrecks. In the first panel, you choose your expedition goal and ship. Okay, so our expedition... Blah, this just keeps telling me stuff. 
In this list, you can find shipwrecks sorted by category. Select each world. Selecting each will display the metrics of the right panel. Indicate the location of the selected shipwreck in the world map. Alright, let's do that then. So I have to buy access? Buy a sector for 35000 or buy one-time access for 8500 The reward for this is 50000 So you don't make a big, very big profit on this. Alright, well, I can't click on this. I have to buy the sector. Here you'll find all the expedition ships you've owned. Choose which ship best for you to go on this expedition. In the last step, the expedition prepare preparation, you will have the opportunity to repair and refuel. Okay. Oh, fishing ship damaged. Well, that doesn't seem good. It's damaged. After dealing with everything in a certain screen of expedition organization, organizing, you can use the same button as before you move forward. Okay. Select workers. Okay, so we have some workers already. This is the sailor selection panel. Set sail with experienced crew to explore the ocean. I was wondering about that. I, I knew we had, there was like I said, some sort of management, but I, I, I never saw that in the demo. Alright. Add. So we're already up to like almost $40,000. <laughs> Alright. Set inventory. Last moment where you can transfer the necessary items between locations. Best to take only what is necessary. Okay, well, I was just apparently nothing. Final step is confirm your trip with go to sea. Alright. Let's go... Go to sea. Days till the start of the expedition. One. Time on Gubbard's time in the bottom bar. You can find information about on the current week and events. All right, so that's actually what I was just about to say. Is down here is our basically our calendar. So there are two steps of expedition. The first is the phase of preparation for the expedition, defined by actions like refueling, storage management, ship maintenance. The second is the phase of traveling to the target sector. Start the expedition now. Yes. But oh, I still have messages. It bothers me. I still have messages. Wow, that was... That, like, okay. You arrived at your expedition site. Alright, the ocean is home to nearly 95% of all life. Makes sense. Lots of fish. Welcome to the Captain's Bridge. This is where your adventure of the sea begins. The task for your mission is not easy. Be careful, Recon. You can steer the ship by interacting with the rudder. This is where you interact with other objects. F on the oxygen tank. You can dive underwater. This lets you return quickly to your office. You control the ship. You change the camera view. B. All right, cool. That's nice to know. All right. From now on, you can manage the boat by yourself. External view. You can press the mouse wheel button to look around. When on the bridge, you can use the use the mouse. You can also use the UI buttons to overall to interact with them. Open the ship inventory. Move items to the cargo hold so you can dive for more treasures. Okay, I do remember this. You can use the rudder functions with keys. Increase ship speed, W, S. Okay, so it's, yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Alright. So wait, how do I know where to go? Am I go I'm going over there to the question mark, I'm assuming? Full speed. Full rudder turn. Wait. I'm really confused. Oh, 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 I, was, I think I was actually facing the right way. For some reason I thought that was in a different place. Am I here? Am I like right on top of it? I'm so confused by this. Yeah, it's right here. This is where the this is where the question mark's at, so. Full we'll reverse for a second. This is full reverse? I mean, I guess it does make sense. It's a boat. Right. I mean, I feel like that's close enough. All right. All right. So, how do I interact? There we go. I guess we dive here, right? 
Back to office. Phone. Okay, I don't know what that's about. Dive with drone. Interesting. I don't remember seeing that. Okay, so the anchor's down. Anchor's away. We're good. Wait, anchor's away. Is that where you leave, or is that where you put the anchor down? I don't remember. Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> He's wanted to jump to the water. You can start exploring it by yourself. Remember the depth limits. Not specified equipment. There are strict limits on how deep you can swim. Most basic equipment allows you to dive only to 100 meters. Alright. Submerge with control. Okay. It shows current oxygen level, pressure, and depth. Alright. So we want to go down here? Oh, it's yeah, it's literally right here. Cool, cool. Is there other shipwrecks down here we can see? Alright, there's our auction. Where's their depth, though? 37 meters down? No. Okay, we discovered our underwater wreck. Okay, find all items. Collect Enigma. Enigma? Okay. I have no clue what that means. All right. Um, there's a there's a plane over here. All right, so we're looking for goodies. Uh, is there not actually? I thought there may be something at the plane. There's like debris all over the place. I have a flashlight, but I don't really feel like I need that right now. Seems like it's nice and bright out here. I feel like this runs smoother than the demo did. I think there was also another problem with the demo is there was a lot of, uh, I don't know, a lot of issues I had with it. But it seems like it's running pretty smooth. Oh, I'm almost at, like, I'm almost at the brink. I'm assuming the bar is the... It says it's red right now. I'm imagining that's because I'm getting close to the max depth so I can go. I can't go any deeper. Like, this is the deepest right there. Is there anything inside? see anything. Alright, well, I guess there's... Wait, 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 wait. This is what I'm looking for. Right here. Okay, so... Inspect. Alright, add to inventory. Add to inventory. That's right. I forgot they have, like, a green glow on the things you can pick up. Right there. Add to inventory. Alright. 25% of all the items from this place. Okay. Uh, see in a few things. I think there's one right here. Teapot? Alright. <laughs> and inventory. And one grenade. Add to inventory. Alright. What is my inventory looking like? Flashlight allows you to light up the underwater. Okay, no, that's not what I need. Here we go. Alright. Alright. I feel like that's gonna take a lot of space. Oh, and you can can I turn it? Yeah, good. Okay, so I can I can sort everything out like this. Give me lots of space. There we go. Alright, any more glowing green bits? We can see with our apparent magical treasure hunter vision. <laughs> I mean I'm fine with it, otherwise oh my god, coming this stuff. Oh, I see two over here. Oh, you and... Human skull. Okay, add to inventory. Oh, we found 25%. We're at 50% now, though. Oh, still some more over here. Man, there's, like, stuff. Holy crap, it's everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna check. I, I don't know. I'm gonna check this, I guess. There's so much stuff everywhere. So oxygen, I don't remember if I just have to go back up for oxygen or what. Can I go inside of you? Like, can I get in the U-boat? Can I open this? No? There's gotta be something here, right? Like, there's nothing actually at the actual sub. 
What's up, fish? Oh, it's like, whoa, those things are, is that just like a solid mass? It's weird how they're moving around. Okay, not seeing anything over here. I'm gonna keep going over. I'm gonna go over to this big one over here then. I did see some green stuff on the way there. Since apparently there's nothing at the actual, like, so. It's debris scattered all around. So is this supposed to be like one of the, is this the front section that was broken off or back section or whatever part it is? See another glowing green bit right here. Go ahead and give me you. Uh, oh, we still have plenty of room. For some reason I was thinking it was starting to get full. Got another one right here. Alright, there we go. Think I see something? No, let's just change it. texture. We're at 62 percent. So there's still oh, quite a few items out here, I think. All right, is this the Enigma? All right, first mission has been completed. Oh, I'm not ready to leave yet. What is this? Hold up. Wait, I can take this with me? Dude. Oh my gosh! Alright, well, we got we gotta go up. <laughs> Holy crap, that is so much bigger than I was expecting it to be. That would be like two little squares or something, two by two wide. That is most of my inventory right there. If I just go to the surface, can I, like, am I good? Oh wow, my oxygen was actually a lot lower than I thought, too. Wee. 69%. So we still have uh, quite a few things out there. You know, drop this off in the ship hole. Oh. Boop. Alright. Where? Where do I put this? Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know where I'm supposed to put this thing at. Alright, uh, rotate, put you down here. I okay, should fill up the bottom part first. Oh, I don't have to scroll down later on. I still have a lot of room. And I imagine that chest is going to be huge. Alright. There we go. Alright, uh... Nope, I'm still... I'm going back down again. Yay, oxygen refilled. Okay, that's what I was hoping. Does not help me at all right now. So there's a U boat, and it was back here, right? 100% sure. Think it was over there? No? Um. Oh, this is the back end. Okay. Just double check there's nothing over here. That's as far as I see any sort of stuff laying on the ground. Okay, no green flashies. Alright. I think it was over here. Pretty sure it was this direction. Because I think this was at the back. The wreck was somehow over there, which doesn't, which seems weird. I don't quite understand how that works, but all right. I, I think like shifted gives you a little boost, but it doesn't make you go super. Uh, you know, holding it down doesn't seem to make it go faster. Maybe it is. I don't know. All right, taking you and inventory. Okay, yep, that is definitely a good chunk of my inventory. Well, we're still at 75%, so there's still a bunch down here. Okay, so yeah, this is that chunk that broke off. Alright, there's one. What we got? Walter Pitcher. Okay, another pistol. 
Add you to inventory. Oh, here we go. We got another thing. Is that another human skull? Yes, it is. Alright, we're at 88%. Really see anything else though. I mean, it looks like maybe you got spread way over to there though. Like, there's boxes everywhere, so I don't, I don't know what the actual overall search radius of this is supposed to be. Like how far out stuff can actually get set. I think that's kind of one of the things that's almost nice about it though. So you can just explore the underwater. I don't know if there's ever threats. I mean, obviously this is a tutorial beginning start starting mission. But I'm hoping there's not actually sharks that eventually try, like, you have to worry about. I mean, it'd be cool, but at the same time, I don't want to have to run from sharks. <laughs> oh my gosh. These barracudas, I mean, those things are hostile too, aren't they? Never really had a fear of underwater, though. Going over open water like this on a boat made me uncomfortable. But... I don't know, I never really had, like, the fear that I've seen some people have, like, with, like, sharks, for instance. Is that a boat? They got on the boat? No? I don't see anything else off in the distance at all. I mean, we still have stuff out here. I just have no idea where it's at. I may, I'm, I may have to go back without it. What is this? Did two parts break off? Oh, wait. This is an airplane. Alright. Like, see, I feel like the airplane. We didn't find anything right next to it. I can't take this out of here, can I? That'd be cool. I'd actually, just take like the whole like, section of airplane, repair all that, sell all that. All right. Uh, I think I may have to be done. I don't see anything else down here. Uh, I'm also wondering, and now that I think about it, because the chest. Yeah, the chest didn't have, like, a green glow to it. So I'm wondering if maybe there's, like, another chest down here. I've been trying to, like, see maybe something that I just don't... I, I don't recognize. Oh, this is the back. There's the rudders. That's the front over there. Alright, yeah, I don't know. Check over here one more time. Try to miss anything here, and then I guess we'll just go up to the ship. Yeah, I can't get inside, I don't think so. I was kind of hoping we crawl through the ships a little bit. I don't know, maybe we will later on, but yeah, we definitely can't here. They're all closed off. Yeah, I don't see anything else even over there. So I think I think we're gonna go back. I think the boat's this way, so I'll at least go under the water. Back over there. Still ninety over here. It bothers me leaving anything behind though. It's like it's kind of where I'm at. I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want to leave anything. I just don't see anything. Okay, whatever. Back to the boat. I mean, there's a couple things over there, but yeah. All right, whatever. Go back to our boat, it's fine. 70 meters away. Oh, wow. I, I hadn't looked at my oxygen in a minute. That dropped so much. I don't know what the timing on that is. 
Coming up about the same thing we were before in the 30s. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Shot out of the water. Okay. Do I need to put it in my inventory? I don't know. I'm going to do it just to be on the safe side. Another human skull. Not much space left. All right. I mean, I guess we do this, right? Go back to our office? Yes. I guess we go, what? A drone can dive deeper than human. A drone can dive deeper than humans. Okay. All right, I'm gonna just go back. I transfer all your belongings. Find it. Yes. Here's a summary of your expedition. Okay. Real time on expedition, 17 minutes. Time left in game, 17 hours. Underwater time, 15 minutes. Found 14 things. The total price of the things we found was $272,000. Okay. So that was definitely profitable. Never mind. We make a good amount of profit each time. All right. These are all the different things we found. Played your first mission. Uh, your timeline for a message will include further metrics. Be careful. So you don't have to pay employees more than you earn monthly. Okay. Now you have freedom in your choices. Go and sell your stuff you gathered to buy new tools for your adventures. You're on your own from now on. Good luck and have fun. Last note, be sure to check out storage in the business panel. From there you can manage and organize your storage. The pawn shop takes only things to keep in your storage. Okay. Alright. Messages. All right, well, 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 good job. The Enigma is a highly desired item among many collectors around the world. You earn plenty of money by selling it in a trusted place. This and other fi findings will set you up for a while. All right, I mean, we have still have three million. Well, now we're over three million. Been waiting for this day for so long. You finally decided to set up your business. Oh, I already saw that. Wait, that's the one we did. Oh, we're a group of students looking for unexplored, undiscovered wrecks at the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. University allowed us to use highly precise equipment to determine the localization and shape of a scanned object. This time we stumbled upon something very exciting. It's an untouched galleon wreck from the 9th century. We have heard that only you can confirm its location and snap out the buried car cargo. Only a group of students, so the reward is small. We only want to take some samples from the finds in the depths. After that, you keep them. Uh, that sounds cool. Decided to open your own company. I pulled some strings for you. First contact will send you them soon. Alright. Cool, cool. And then what about you? Oh, I heard you've already moved in. The air condition is a little rough sometimes, but other than that, everything should be in perfect condition. Good luck with your work. Okay, what was that? Man, I heard something around me slide. This has been a day of weird. Uh, it's the auction house. You can buy items and sell them at the auction. Or, if you need quick income, you can sell items at a lower price at the pawn shop. Alright, so flashlights, 200. Remote detonators, 12,000. Distraction balloon? Ooh! That sounds pretty good. I'll buy one of those. Rick scanning item. What does that mean? I mean, I'm assuming it's not just a one-time thing, right? This sounds like it could potentially be a one-time thing. Remote dead. Why do we need a remote detonator? I don't know, but I kind of want to get it. Current offers. All right. Oh, wait, wait these things I can bid on? No, I don't want to do that. No, 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 no. Specialist store. Lab. Aqualung. Okay. Self-contained underwater. I mean, I have three million dollars. Like, I can do a bunch of stuff, right? I was you to breathe in water and ascend. Yes, yes. Ascend, hover, float it. Well. Uh, it's really okay. So is it better than what I have? Can I buy it? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Two thousand dollars. Why would I not just get the ultimate things like right away? I'm I'm very confused by this. What is this? Vascope is a free diving self-propelled 
deep sea submarine con consistent consisting of a crew cabin similar to a biosphere suspended below the surface rather than from the surface cable okay there's all kinds of crazy stuff here is there an extraction balloon i could sell what about the stuff that i have oh is it not in my storage the shipyard we can buy upgrades for your ship or sell ships you no longer need okay large slots extracted racks this is empty all right auction house let me go let me do let me just go home can i just get out of this business about your progress in the game and other statistics is where you find your storage and so there we go that's what i wanted to find i just want to find my storage i was so confused store things you found in expeditions that you don't want to sell right now here you can manage things remember that you can only move things instantly between player and ship except for the personal items it's immovable no matter what ship to storage okay So I can only, it says I can only sell stuff that's in my storage. Go back to my message box for a second. I'm really confused. Did I not accept it? But I still have the enigma on me. Auction house? Do I sell my stuff? All right. Candidates for new people, social panel. There's so much stuff happening here that I'm trying to like comprehend on what's just going on right now. Price range 10,000 to 100,000. All right. 1200 to 12,000? No. Yes. My gosh. Oh, and they actually are degre they have degradation range, so they're actually some of them are more damaged than others. Does it change the price too? No, that's why they probably have that percentage change. Okay, six thousand to sixty thousand. So what does it say? Place where you can buy valuable equipment and stuff. Yeah, but how do I sell them? Am I missing something? Where is the button to sell? My offers. Add offer. Add offer. I mean, this is me auctioning on things, right? So how do I put my stuff on the auction? Equipment. So am I reading it wrong? Am I supposed to put this in my personal storage? Is that what's happening? I can't I can't move it I don't I don't I don't know what's going on man oh transfer oh crap I did it wrong <laughs> I need to take it oh my god I'm losing my mind. All right, so I gotta, I gotta play this for a second. How many? I don't, see, I don't know what this is, what this metric this is based off of. Yeah, that's what I screwed up. All right, that's where I screwed up then. It wasn't over here yet, and that's where I had to do is I just had to simply wait for this to get here. And like, oh, that goes to my inventory. Huh. Okay, whatever. I don't know what I did. This is the most, like, this is all a learning thing to try to figure out how the crap I'm supposed to do anything in here. All right, so we're all good there. We're all good there. Sell this thing. I don't know. Do these sell? Do these have a price? A hundred to a thousand dollars. Okay. I guess I'm selling this too. And I put it in here. No, I'm not allowed to take that out of my inventory. Oh, it's right there. Oh my god. Alright, anyways. Oh, alright. Transfer 14 hours. 
Wait until that's done. Boom. There we go. So, now if I go to the auction house, and we go here, we have all these things that I can sell. If I go here, do I have things? Add offer. There we go. So I have all these things I can sell. Base price is 60000 This is the price I can set it up for then? Is it going to start moving? Uh huh. This thing's up to a hundred thousand. So do I just put it on and then people put offers? I guess. Whatever. We're gonna we're gonna find out. Enigma. I'm gonna set this thing up there. I wanna set the ex really expensive things on. Pistol. Can I just add everything? Right. I'm just putting everything on there, I guess. It's fine. It'll sell. Alright, should be good. I hope. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, location sonar. Onboard ship sonars. Got you the exact spots. I want to buy all this stuff because I don't see the point of not buying it. It's expensive. Once I have it, I think we're good. So if I go back to my storage. Then number two. This thing is something I'm carrying so I can take big bricks out of the ground, out of the water. Alright, and then we can buy the laser. I don't know what for, but I'm going to do it. Well, it helps you find desired objects underwater. It flashes green when you put it near a specific object. I don't know. Alright. GPS marks track is sufficiently useful underwater. Sonar signals. Alright. Uh, I could buy the drone. Without risking your own life. Eh. Nah. I don't think I need the drone right now. Alright. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to take these people's offer. Right here. We're going to confirm that. There we go. So I guess we're good. I don't think I need to do anything else. Just make sure my inventory is set to right there. Alright, and our shipyard. Purchase ships. So this is our ship right now. Repair? Nothing. Refuel. Oh, okay. I see. Oh my goodness. Right. Oh, well, I do want that, yeah. Why would I not want that? Okay, go back. Shop ships. So I can buy new ones. Whoa. How much is this ship? $1.8 million. I mean, it looks really cool. Cargo ship. Wow, that's huge. So I definitely want... This is what I currently have right now. Yeah, I would love to have a bigger ship. I think that would be pretty awesome. The crew size is huge compared to this. I have a crew size of two. Inventory's hull size doesn't change. Inventory weight cap, though, goes up. Cargo ship weight is stupid good. Oh, I guess it's horizontal size. I mean, does that even change the... Vertical size is actually less in the cargo? This is so weird. I don't quite understand it. Fuel consumption 10.79. Fuel consumption 10.38. How? All right, whatever, it's fine. It's fine. Shop ships, extractor wrecks, we don't have any of those yet. All right, well, I guess uh, expedition time, right? So let's do the galleon. This one right here. I don't buy the sector, right? Just in case I have to go back down again. Because I didn't get everything in the other one. Galleon, all right, and... Set workers. 
Want to choose you again because you were good last time? I mean, I don't know what any of this stuff really does to help me. I, I, I don't know if I should just take the one. I guess we're going to do that. Okay. Set inventory. Oh, that's fine. Choose destination. So this is our destination, yes. Available ships, so we're good. So I just yeah, I guess we just go to sea then. Alright. There we go. And start the expedition. Yes. Yeah, just start the expedition now. We're not going to the same spot, right? No, we're going like way out here. Holy crap, we're going the distance. Alright. Our oceans cover more. I think these little facts and 70% of the Earth surface. Alright. And we're here. Alright. I have this in my inventory. I could leave this, but I'm going to leave it behind for right now. I don't know if I'm going to actually need that. Okay, and as far as where we are, we're, we're directly on top of it, so I guess we just go straight down. I don't know what these different items are. Okay, item used for making underwater pictures. Rough light conditions used to scan the remains of a ship underwater. Wait, am I gonna be able to go all the way? No, I, got, I even upgraded my gear, right? So we should be fine. Okay, I see items right away. Out of laser frame. Right? I don't know how you... How do you... Laser frame? So do I need to, like, frame the whole thing up? Do I have to literally have the entire thing in its entirety on here? Boom. I don't know what this is for. Like, why am I taking a picture of it? I don't know. Similar to onboard ships, sonars can barely it can guide you exactly to the place the object is. So you're telling me it, it takes me just straight to where the green objects are? Oh, we can go inside the ship. Oh, can I not? What? What do you mean? Come on, I see a hole in there. Yeah, we can totally go underwater. I right, down here. Okay, so you're not showing me this one. Oh, maybe it is. I, just, I don't have enough space for that. There's just treasure chests all over the place. Okay, so I guess it kind of is. Okay, so I am going to have to make several trips. Let's see if I can at least find something smaller. I saw some more green stuff out here. I wonder if they're all going to just be chests at this point, though. Okay, so yeah, no, if I take this thing out... Tell me about anything else. No? I know I saw a green thing out here. Oh, it's on the other side. Like valuable chests and store. Oh, wait. Oh, what? This is... Okay. Oh, well, this is fine. Put this away. I'm just picking it up weird. That's all it comes down to. Question is, it's going to be... How is, how, okay, how big is this one? Add to inventory. Oh, no. <laughs> this is also a storage chest. Well, at least I can get both of them. It's still a storage chest and a valuable chest. It must be the valuable chest out there. Let's go up to our ship real quick. Straight above us. T ditch these two items and then come back down to grab the last two. I mean, that says find all items, so that must be all the items, I guess. Oh my gosh. I have 
hunted you in Fountain of Youth. <laughs> I recognize this vision. Alright, uh, up we go. And swap these around. Boom, and... Boom, alright. This is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna have to move some stuff. No, 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 no! Don't go back to the office! I clicked on the wrong button! <laughs> that would have been very bad. Alright, go down as fast as I can. Okay, now I guess just holding shift does make you move faster. I'm trying to, like, determine that the whole time. Alright, so we grab this, and we grab the one under there, and I guess I'm done with this one. I'm happy that I could actually go inside the ship. Alright, grab you, put you in my inventory, bam. Rotate, there we go. Grab this one at the back of here, and we're gonna leave. See, I don't... Did I not equip the... I'm, I'm so confused what was happening with the upgrades. Like, I got the oxygen tank, but or, I guess it's not crush depth. It would be oxygen. Because, I mean, I don't know how far down that was. I guess it was close to 100. Maybe it was over 100? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the actual depth. I guess we can find out by the time I get to the surface, because it does show how, long, how far down to the brick. That was over 100. This is 112, it says down from where we are now. Alright, uh, I guess we just go back, right? Yeah, see, that right there was my concern. I think I'm gonna have to put these in like this. There we go. These are just so gigantic. Alright, and I guess back to the office we go. It's going to take us a minute to actually sail that whole distance, but that's perfectly fine. Less than 5% of the planet's ocean have been explored. I'm sure it's what it says, because, yeah, I know that's, like, crazy low. What did I do? Fast forward. Do you like to transfer all findings from your ship to storage? Yes. Okay. Alright, so we did all the stuff that they wanted. Uh, messages. Uh, which is new? Okay, it says new right here. Hello, we were a group of students looking for... Okay, that's not new. I've already read that. I invite you to join us in our search for our sunken naval ship. Critical objective, recovering your lost military asset. Please contact us urgently to discuss the involvement. Okay, that's a $105,000 reward. Oh my goodness. All right, and we got it. The university officials can't believe it. Maybe from now on, student projects will be more appreciated and better funded than before. Samples are already taken, and the funds are already are all yours. Keep in touch in case there's another wreck. Okay, cool, cool. Oh, uh, what? GPS marker gun and scanning dart. Ship was buried a couple months ago, main, mainly with coal. Please extract it. Please extract the ship? Oh, man. I want to do this one. This one sounds fun. And a $105,000 reward. I mean, that's $500,000 reward. Okay. Well, I had to buy things, though. So. My offers. Oh, crap. So, wait. Everything that I had sold? I got $121,000. Auction offers? I... No, not you. I'm gonna go to my business. Can I? Okay, everything's here. Go ahead and turn this. Did they take one of the boxes? I'm confused. Because it's not here anymore. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand. Alright, it's fine. Bank. Take out loans, create deposits. This is where options take promotional loan and promotional deposit. 
Okay. Deposits? Is this like deposits the money in to like get pay for loans? I don't need a loan. Shipyard. I wanted to see, do these change at all? Advanced ship. They do change. It's only 216,000? Why is that so cheap? Whoa. Oh man, I hope you guys want to see more of this. <laughs> I'm liking this a lot, and the fact that we can actually like buy some like other ships that are like crazy, and there is a bunch of different kinds of ships. Horizontal 10, that's 10, that's so this is more. This is even a good cap. Uh, extraction tool and a lift. Oh, dude. Ugh. 460,000? I mean, why do I have so much money to start with? It's so weird that I start with so much. So I feel like that just lets me do anything at this point. I don't know why it's so much. I didn't choose an option for it to be that high, did I? I don't think so. I don't know. All I know is at this point, I'm basically going to buy anything. <clears throat> GPS marker gun, so that's one of the things I needed, and I need the GPS marking dart. Okay, so it's just to track wherever the thing is underwater. Alright, um... This is what I have, so I must have sold everything, so I have, have $121,000 right now. I think it was only at, like, Three million or something. I think I spent a lot because I actually repaired my boat. All right. Well, whatever. We're gonna put these up there. Add offer. Add offer. Add offer. And three thirty one twenty one. What would it would date is it? So it's twenty fourth right now. All right. So the storage chest sells for 50, the valuable chest sells for 35? I don't understand. How does that work? Dude, flying claws, weapons, storage, and valuable items. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how that works, but alright, whatever, it's fine. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Trying to figure out what I want to do here. Uh, shipyard. Kind of want to buy a ship, but I think I'm going to wait. Okay, so yeah. The next one we're doing, though, is the military one. Uh, I want to go to Expedition. Merchant? 52,000. Yeah, because I spent a bunch of money to buy the new place. I spent the money to repair the ship. I actually want to go... Leave Expedition for a second. I still bought the place, though, so it should be good. I'm going to check my ship real quick. Yeah, because I needed to refuel it. So yeah, that's 9,000 right there. I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like 8,000 or 9,000 for this. Alright, that's fine. <clears throat> well, I think I'm actually going to leave it here for now. I just realized I've been recording for almost an hour. So let me know if you guys want to see more. I really hope you do. I think this game is uh, a lot of fun. Uh, the menus are insane in depth and stuff and it's something i definitely have to still keep learning as we go but otherwise i'm i'm like i said yeah i'm really having fun with this i i i i like these kinds of management stuff it's kind of similar with a little bit more action almost than uh the monster lab game so and it also reminds me a little bit of the fishing game too to a degree but yeah thank you for watching i'll leave a link below so you can check the game out yourself and i uh, will see you in the next video bye bye for now